Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And uh, one of the interesting things that is being tested is those new Intel Core Ultra CPUs. These new CPUs are, of course, CPUs that have NPUs with them. So they're neural processes, new processing units that actually accompany these CPUs. And the latest tests that have been done seem to show that when you compare those to Apple's M3, uh, M4 CPUs on the Apple Mac, and even comparing them to the uh, ARM uh, Snapdragon um, X series that has the famous uh, Copilot Plus PCs right now, it seems that this combination is new ultra core ultra CPUs from Intel are pretty much uh, some of the best out there now. So this would be interesting because we talked about how Intel is having a real hard time right now. And one of the things they're trying to find their way to do is, of course, uh, competition with others. Uh, ARM has been now added to the competition level. And the fact that, of course, Apple has abandoned Intel in favor of its own chips um, Intel, I think, needed this news. So their latest uh, core ultras that are uh, available and that will be available um, seem to beat a lot, if not a big majority of uh, all the CPUs out there, uh, which means that future PCs could be quite, quite popular because they'll be quite powerful. And, you know, of course, the first ones coming out are very expensive in price, but they will go down in price as time goes by and new, more powerful processors are uh, out there. So it seems that um, the Copilot plus PC type uh, PCs that will have the possibility to run recall and all the AI features for Windows um, might actually be uh, pretty good. They seem to be even better than the AMD Ryzen CPUs that also have uh, NPUs with them. So I think this is what Intel needed to improve its score for the future as it's really uh, going through hard times right now. So um, the tests have been done with Passmark CPU Mark, which are um, were done on single thread performances. And um, they seem to tell a story here that things could be quite interesting in terms of PC power in the near future. So I'll we'll be checking that out. And of course, the new PCs with all of that will come out around Christmas and throughout 2025. We'll see also how popular they are and um, what comes next in terms of powerful computing in the Windows uh, environment. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.